Hi guys, I'm Jamie from the Abode Academy and welcome to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for any future videos. Okay, so now I'm going to be setting up the hand mask to give you a demonstration on exactly how I do that. So, what you want to do first is you want to put your paper on. So, I mean, you can put your tape on first if you want, but I'd say put your paper on. Um, just get it ready. So, what you do is there's a little lever there, if you notice. I'm just pushing that forward with my thumb and then pushing the whole thing on. Um, obviously, be very careful with this blade. There is a seal normally on there. It's, give, it's a blade sort of protector. It sort of keeps your hand safe. I actually pour mine off. Um, you're not supposed to, but I think it's, it cuts better. Um, so I'm not advising you to do that, but like I said, I think they work better without it. So then what you want to do is just pull your paper through just, just a slight bit, just getting, a, getting it going there. Um, and then what you do then is you take your tape, and again, I'm using multi-purpose oil mask and most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, um, because obviously it's multi-purpose tape. Um, and then what we want to do is push it right onto this reel here. So this reel, really make sure it's on there properly, because when, if it's not on there secure, it actually pulls the tape off at an angle, and then it won't stick to the paper properly. Now, if you look here, there's a little lip, and it does say, it's got an arrow that actually says tape, and it's got an arrow going sort of like this, um, at an angle. Most people don't know about that, and they miss it. Uh, most of my students that come in here, they never ever put it underneath there. But that is there for a reason, that's to keep it all in line. So what you're gonna do is pull off a bit of tape, and just thread it underneath there, like so. And then you're gonna stick it to the top of your uh, masking paper there like so okay so then what you want to do is, again is you're watching your fingers is just pull this lip that this little lever here i don't know what the name is for it but it's basically spring loaded that is just pull that forward grab hold of your paper and start putting through and then drop that back down again and then all you've got to do then is i always just waste the first bit so i just Break off the first bit like so. And then that gives me a nice straight edge to work to. And then my tape is a level there. Also, another thing you've got to remember is that these blades do come off. So there is a set of holes on this blade. So you've got three, three well, one, two, three, four. So there's four holes there. And that will actually adapt to what size tape you're using. So if you're using an inch tape and then the blades down there see then you need to adjust the blade to, to meet the end of that tape so obviously that's an inch and a half so I, what i would do with the blade is i would just bring it up to where that inch and a half line is which is is there so that is the second hole in and then i'll click it into place like so and then that then is in line but obviously as the tape changes sizes you have to adapt that blade to suit because obviously if you put it off and the blade is like down um, it's above the blade then it's going to start ripping halfway down the paper so you need that blade to be in line with that top of that tape <laughs> 